Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we're gonna start a new kind of series. Um, so one of the big things I hear people saying is historic's very expensive to get into, and I agree in some extent, but what I wanna do here is take uh, existing tier one or tier two standard lists, cards that a lot of people have already, and look to convert to historic with around 10 or so rare or mythic wild cards. Um, this is a deck I've been personally playing in Historic right now. I'm four wins from Mythic. Um, this is a mono red snow list that's been converted to Historic for combined 13 rares and Mythics. I'm not going to count the commons and uncommons because majority of people have an abundance of those. The real bottleneck in a lot of cases is the rare and Mythic slots. So, mono red snow. What are we trying to do normally? Uh, turn creatures sideways and throw an ember cleave on them in game one. Um, what we get with Historic uh, is a couple uh, upgrades at uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 mana slots. In the 1 drop slot, we get Bomat Courier. So this is where we're spending 4 rares. It's a 1 mana 1-1 one, one haste. Um, and this is basically a card engine uh, for the deck. You play it out ideally on turn 1. Uh, you attack with it. It puts a card into exile. And then you can sack the Bomat Courier, discard your hand, and put all those cards into your... Uh, hand that were underneath it. So it's a pretty good card to get you card advantage. Um, we also get Burning Tree Emissary. Um, so as Titan Smash always likes to say, um, this is a gruel list because it's got green pips, but we're using it basically as two devotion, two two, that gets us to play a free spell afterwards. Um, so what we can do is chain it into something like Robber of Riches. You could do it into the Stomp. You can do it, I've actually had turns where you Burning Tree, Play out a Bomac Courier and a Fervent Champion by splitting the mana. Uh, you have Frostbites. Um, so really this plays allows you to dump your hand faster and uh, have earlier uh, Ember Cleaves. This can enable uh, like turn 3 Ember Cleaves um, with your board state. And then in the 3 drop slot, what we actually have is Rampaging Ferocidon. So this is probably the card if you are missing, you can probably forego it the most I would say, but it does have a lot of utility against a lot of uh, the popular decks. So notably, uh, this is a 3 mana 3-3 three, three menace, so it has to be blocked by two creatures. It shuts off your opponent's life gain as well as yours, but we don't really gain life in our deck. Um, and then whenever a creature enters the battlefield, it pings that person for one damage. So Goblins has a very hard time winning through this. Uh, Cat Oven stops the life gain, and every loop means that they uh, take a point of damage. Uh, it shuts off the life gain from your opponent's absorbs, um, so it's a very useful card in that regard. Um, unlike the standard version, we're only playing 3 Annex because we have other uh, reasonable cards here. Uh, there's a, a bit more Exile removal in the format as well with stuff like Baffling End. Uh, the 4 drop slot, uh, my favorite card in Historic, Chandra Torch of Defiance. Uh, so Chandra gives you card advantage, ramp, removal, and an emblem that pretty much wins you the game. Uh, so everything you want in a 4 mana Planeswalker. Uh, and then one card I've been trying out is Hazard the Fervent. So this is kind of our late game, hard to deal with, sticky threat. So 4 mana 5-4, Indestructible Haste, can't attack if you have two or more cards in hand. Sorry, you have to have one or less cards in hand, and then you could spend extra mana to throw cards that you have in hand at your opponent's face for two damage. Uh, the mana base is pretty simple uh, compared to the standard version. You still have your Snow Mountains and your Faceless Havens, uh, but we also get to play Ramanop Ruins. So basically, uh, late game, five mana, sack a land, deal two damage when you're sacrificing your deserts. Um, so the main board is pretty stock. Uh, we're using a couple rares in the sideboard as well with Graft Digger's Cage. Um, Cage shuts off Goblins, Cat Oven, Collected Company, uh, Paradox Engine combo, uh, Arcanus uh, graveyard decks, um, pretty much everything incidentally gets hit by Cage, so it's a great card to have in your sideboard. If you want to play Historic, this is generally a card you will have, unless it hurts you for your deck. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern, just as a way to exile the graveyard. And then I have really just removal here. A Braid's a very flexible card in the format, deals with most of the creatures, and then hits uh, incidental artifacts. Lava Coil for the Gruul or Angels lists. Roiling Vortex versus the Life Gain lists, or slower control decks like Blue White Control. Another Chandra for the Grindier matchups, and a Cronin War would uh, primarily come in like the creature matchups like Gruul, where you're kind of going back and forth, uh, or against Auras, which they usually put everything on a big creature, so you can steal that creature there. So, 
we'll try this out. Like I said, I'm four match wins away. So let's fire up some historic ranked and see how this does. Hopefully we can hit mythic on stream. So I'll do this with a couple other decks. I have mono white snow already. Um, the three color decks do tend to be a little bit more difficult, admittedly, to do it on a more budget constraint. Um, so something like Sultai Ultimatum, I do have a historic version of it, um, but it does tend to have a lot more rare and mythic wild cards. So if you do want to see it, I can always do the conversion, um, but it won't be as budget conscious, conscious I would say. Uh, we can probably do something with like the Is It Dragon list as well, uh, since you get Glorybringer. Um, but there's some flexibility in doing so. Let's see if we find an opponent here. So blue white's usually a pretty good matchup. The cat of index can be a bit tricky game one. A lot of our stuff can be stolen. Opponents on Yorian. I will keep this hand. So I usually like leading with Bomac Courier just to start getting some cards under it. So, want an Embercleave here. This hand's like pretty solid to that. Okay, so this is the Enigmatic Incarnation deck. BTE, BTE. Fervorino. I don't believe this deck has mainboard sweepers. Actually, let me check. It was someone got mythic with it on Arena Zone. Uh, enigmatic. Um, no, no mainboard sweepers, doesn't look like they have any sweepers. Um, so here I have a decision, I think we're just doing like Ferocidon shut off their life gain because this threatens lethal especially if I draw land yeah it's fine Bomac Courier just replaces my hand here okay so they have one Arkans of Sun's Grace uh, against this matchup we want Roiling Vortex uh, creature cards, player can't cast spells. Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. That might actually be good. Um, they don't really have artifacts. Probably want Chandra, Hazaret seems decent against them. Uh, I'm honestly kind of inclined. These Ferocidons generally don't do too much against them. Uh, Cage is fine. They're going to bring in more removal, most likely. So we'll trim down one Ember Cleave. Uh, usually against heavier removal, we'll take that out. I think we just trim the Frostbites. Yeah, it's probably just trim the frostbites. We'll see what they bring in. This might not be the exact list. I'm going off of uh, what I see here on Arena Zone. This person got number 84 mythic with it. Sounds a bit slow. I think we still try it. Vortex on two is interesting. I think 
we're just doing this this turn. So they'll sack, like the Utopia Sprawls fix their mana, they cycle. Okay, so I think, ooh. So that's four damage, but then they take this. I think we're playing this out this turn. Really wanted another line there. I want them to have to answer this and decide if they want to take like my Roiling Vortex. Our hand is much slower this game though. We saw what like the Burning Tree drops do for us. Just being able to go super wide. Well, that bodes well. If they're digging here. Easy four damage. And they're like, I can also hold this up now to protect for like life, uh, life gain. So if they have Othakaya, they don't gain any life. They could get Deputy of Detention. That would be pretty annoying, particularly because I don't have a clean answer right now. Yeah. Kind of wish we had the stomp. Can't catch a break this game. Need, like they're at eight, so we're at a pretty decent spot. Six. Okay, so they're on at least one. Okay. That seems kind of odd to me. Unless they're going to go get Arkin of Sun's Grace. I think we might just need to go to sideboard. Hey, Sheep Black. Hey, Quick. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Um... So we know that they're going to have the Othakaya. We might as well get a token left behind. How are you guys, folks, doing? Okay, now we're dead. Missed too many turns without hitting a line there. Um, so I'm actually going to get rid of the Frostbites and bring in the Lava Coils, I think, in this matchup. Maybe, maybe in a braid. Probably don't want cleave. Like we'll just beat them down through normal interaction here. They've shown some number of impactful creatures. They've shown deputy. Still think we want cage the life gain off this like we have this to shut off life gain they have exiles so maybe we bring in one of these kind of just trim along the edges here yeah that game there we missed line for two turns in a row we weren't able to really build up our board and it just let them snowball Sounds fine. We need another red source, but fervent into actually we can't even cast BTE. This hand was probably a mall. Unless we draw a red source. We're gonna draw a red source. I have faith. The big thing here is Cage does a lot of work. 
it'll shut off their like uh, draw engine. No, let's just draw another four drop that we can't cast. Red land, please. Red land. Red land, please. Red land. Are we going to get mana screwed two games in a row? It's not a red line, but it's the next best. This lets us attack through. Come on, red land. One time, red land. Even if they deputy here, the lava coil is really good. Perfect. So I could Chandra, I think we're gonna BTE, Lava Coil. The reason I'm doing this is I just don't want Chandra to die on the crackback. And I'd prefer to just uptick Chandra. This gives me another attacker as well. If they use like binding, it's not that valuable. We take the two damage here. If they go like Arkin of Amiria, they haven't really had ramp. These having first strikes more valuable. Do we, I think we Chandra uptick. Cause this leaves them pretty dead on board. I guess I should have done this pre-combat in case I drew like a one drop. So they can enigmatic to get glass pool mimic. That can get rid of my Chandra. If they deputy, then I... Okay, that's fine. So pop that there, pop that there. So the reason I'm doing this this turn is because the two points of damage will be relevant. I don't think they have discard, but I just in case they have a way to force me to discard. Hey Titans, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, I cheated. I got my uh, BTEs in here. I think we still are okay. They need to gain life somehow. 
and I could just Chandra uptick decline to pay. This is this card's so good. Enters the battlefield, target creature controls get minus three three. Okay. This is when you're in paper and you just show your opponent that you have Chandra, so no matter what they do, it doesn't matter. Okay, that kind of matters now. Um, I killed this. Okay, so they found their out. Um, we'll get rid of this because they can't blink it. Keep back my blocker. Yeah, they drew binding. their five drop Kenrith. They might just sneak this out. That life gain was clutch. So they could trade with one of my lands here. I think we need to do it like this. I think we're dead. Got him to one, not enough. Hazard it. Hazard it would be pretty clutch. Yorian bounced their board also is pretty good here. Okay, Hazard it helps. We don't have deal three in our deck, we have deal two. Roiling Vortex gets him for a point of damage. They might just stabilize. Bone Crusher would help. You know what? I was I was missing the other green cards in the deck. Just gain four. Yeah, I think we're dead now. Think we are dead now. They got the chain going. That's unfortunate. One point short. That game two where we just never drew another land. I 
Should have had that one. They gained the timeliest of three life, just to put it out of reach. I don't think plussing there to leave the um, Tolzmir made sense because they had thing in hand, Yorian. Maybe we respect the creatures more in the deck, play some more removal, but I think in that matchup we need to go quick. They're going to win the late game more often than not. Hey, Drain, how's it going? Oh! He's on Auras, I think. He's uh, in my Discord. What's up? Don't think against Auras. Eh, we keep this in. We need another land. What's your problem? Okay, so game one, he's going to have the advantage. The unfortunate thing is... Okay, that's fine. So, like, interest in magic comes and goes. Like, I've taken a break. Nobody really quits. Um, have you only been playing one format? Have you been, like, playing a couple different? He's playing my list, too. Okay, so that's how we're going to win. Generally, I try to switch up formats, go with like either a more casual format. So I think we're taking the eight here. No blocks this turn. I need to. Yeah, I like mostly commander. I find with commander at least, like I used to just kind of brew up new decks. That usually helps. Okay, so as long as he doesn't have flying, we should be okay. Because I also have this Faceless Haven. Yeah, Commander's a bit tough given the, the current pandemic. Sorry, give me one sec. Uh, so Braids, Lava Coils in Crowin Wars. Um, Chandra kind of gets a bit outclassed here. Hazard can block for days. Fervent's pretty bad. This shuts off some of their life gain. Do I want Chandra's? Probably trim a cleave. He's going to bring in a lot more removal. Yeah, I'd say like the flexibility is nice, but as others pointed out, I think we trim one here. Trim two. These just don't attack well into their board state. I just want to overload on removal. Just become like a big red deck. I think we go like this. I might want cage here actually. I should have brought Cajun.
there's no removal in this hand, but we can potentially go pretty big pretty quick. Best to be two mana removal spell here. Two mana removal spell. Okay, close enough. That one was for you, Titans. All the green mana. We spent green mana for our Vomac Courier. Yeah, you could try. Have you tried Spell Table? Um, like, that's a way online you can play with people. I will double block if you attack, sir. So we kind of have him in a situation where if he attacks, he can be dead at any time in the crackback. Okay, that does it. Okay, well, we are getting close to dead. He's playing scared. So I'm gonna go Hazard this turn. With Hazard, then I can play Robber of Riches. That's gonna be a bit of a problem, just gaining him life. Yeah, we kind of lost this one. He's snowballing. I guess I can a crow in war. We have two. We're pretty dead, so I just want to see what we draw in the next turn or two. This can start blocking. The first strike with lifelinks really relevant here. I just want to see if he sees it. Okay, I gotta be more aggressive, I think, with mulliganing. We need more removal here. I think I do want the other cleave on the play, at least. Um, trim you... Run it like this. Okay, this sounds much better. Getting this going early is really good. Like we only wanted really one on turn one. A land would be great here. We just want to curve out lines now. Sweet. As much as possible, you want to take them off their card advantage engines. That's fine. Yeah, for us, we want to get to Cleave. Uh, it's generally the big payoff. A Crow in War is very good here. We need another line for this hand to kind of open up. Captain Thoughtseize against us, which is interesting. He's 
It's got to take a crown war here, I think. Um, it, it also is just around, like, controlling your opponent's board. So, like, here, we got rid of his creatures early. Um, so it's easier for us to start applying pressure. So you clear in the board, you, you stick a threat, and then you just take him out. Let me give him a, a GG's. It's funny, we were just talking about decks in the Discord. Speaking of Discord, if you haven't joined, do you have a Discord? We chat magic, deck advice, a whole bunch of stuff there. If you need help, if you're new to magic, um, myself, you can usually answer questions when we're not online there about deck building, stuff of that nature. There's a good group of uh, folks there as well, can help out. They all complain when I keep playing control decks. Let's queue up into them again. I think we got that Warriors matchup pretty good. I was going back and forth between Hazard and the fourth cleave. So I think what we want to do is be more conscious when we're playing these games. If we want another cleave, if we want another Hazaret, like in the situation, and what pays off more. Because Hazaret has more utility against like the blue-white control decks. All right. I think we keep this. If it's a creature deck, we got early removal into Annex, into Chandra. Nice. Yeah, I've personally been playing since New... F I was playing Cube during New Phyrexia, and I first got into, like, my own collection during Innistrad Avacyn Restored. Um, and then I was, like, big competitive in Standard. Okay, so this hand's pretty terrible against Blue-White Control. Maybe it's Bant Angels. Try to stick this now. They could have Sensor, but this has a lot of utility. Okay, they have Essence Scatter. I might just keep hitting them in the... F Okay, if they did Doomscar, that's fine. Let's do this, Today's my lucky day. this is actually pretty good um, because I can pop up mana after the Faceless Haven. Getting this to stick also is pretty good. Them shocking there is fine. This could be subtle. Could be Shark Typhoon. Sorry, I'm just thinking through the lines there. I guess I should have done this main phase in case we got a haste threat. This is gonna hurt. I think we do this. If they want to counter this, they can. This might also just be cast out. Oh, just behold. Yeah, cast out maybe. But I feel if they had cast out, you play it main phase because they could have taken. They basically gave us a free card draw. This is fine though, because if they board wipe, we get three tokens. Plus I get this Faceless Haven. If they down tick on Teferi, I have Frostbite. That's why I like Frostbite. It's uh, a flexible removal spell here. They do get authority of the consoles post board. 
One thing I was going to try to consider. Okay, so baffling end. I'd rather the tokens here. Chandra's getting close to ultimate as well. It's fine. Hit him for six here. So Ferocidon stops life gain which they can't really life gain. Think we're going Bone Crusher here. Don't let him see what we have in hand. Because here they're, they have to deal with Chandra, otherwise we get an emblem. They have to deal with our board. They can't deal with everything. Um, so this matchup's Roiling Vortex Chandra in. And then I usually trim on a cleave. Um, I actually don't think we need cleave in this matchup. Two cuts. Trim on two frostbites. I like having the frostbites as just an option, especially on the play. Like They're going to deal with your board a lot, so you don't want to overcommit. Also, the removal is typically exile-based. Um, the big thing with blue-white control, uh, they don't normally have a clean answer to... So that's fine. Wish this was a snow land, but... Okay, we're getting there. One, two, three curves, pretty nice. Uh, drawing that's pretty bad. We only kept two in. This might be sensor. Which if they censor this, I'd rather they censor this than the annex. Honestly think I'm fine with that. So they showed uh, essence capture or essence scatter game one. Oh. Okay, so they have the answer this game. So I want to bait them into this. Because I'm guessing their turn is going to be Field of Ruin. Um, they don't have Absorb Man up, so I'm more inclined to cast this now. And then Field of Ruin will fix my land. If they want to hold up this Field of Ruin, they can. Because then that... Okay, that's fine. This gives me two tokens if need be. they attack, it's a pretty clear signal. Oh. Okay, so they have that. We're probably going to have to play this Faceless out if they do have the Field of Ruin. I need to go quick. I can't really play around um, them having a sweeper here. With these two in hand, we're pretty dead. They're going to win the long game, so let's pressure them. Them hitting Chandra for one is not a huge deal. Like, as long as this keeps parity. 
It's a nice thing with Chandra. You get to basically play it out. So Chandra kind of costs two mana in the deck. Because you get to play like Chandra plus a one or two mana spell in addition. The only downside is Chandra can't activate the Faceless, but you do get the mana afterwards with Faceless. They can also do this at instant speed with the Field of Ruin, so they can wait for me to activate this. So we're just gonna pace them out. We're gonna make... You're pissing off Chandra. That's fine. So I think we do this. Say go. Hold up if they have a life gain spell, and then Bone Crusher Giant them. If they go to Fairy, they're going to want a minus anyways. Hey, Bobalek, how's it going? So do this now before the untap. Land to be good. It's not bad. You want to counter that? You want to counter that? <laughs> then what we can do, just Chandra uptick. Keep the option for the red mana in case they have a life gain spell. So what we haven't seen is if they're on the approach. New historic anthology will be good. Maybe they print more angels for you. I don't know if you saw Bubblek how long you've been on, but we ran into Jeremy. He was my previous match. Okay. I still need to answer the board. So we'll probably, so we got to see what they do here. Bottom, bottom bodes well. You're not the meme user. You're the, uh, the angel aficionado. I admit I can't pull off the angel wins like you can. We just do this. Because this puts them dead in their upkeep. We're just not going to cast a spell here. Got him. The Angelic Council. Diamond one. Three wins away. Welcome all tuning in. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, what we have today is a convert your standard deck to historic for 13 rares and mythic wild cards. Trying to keep it around 10-ish, but we uh, settled with 13 for this one. Uh, and what we're trying to do is basically upgrade mono red snow in historic. Um, with the addition of cards like Chandra, 
uh, Hazaret, um, Bomac Courier, and Ferocidon in the main board, and a couple Grafdigger cages in the side. Um, we are currently two and one today. Lost a close one against uh, four color Enigmatic Incarnation. We bet Auras and Blue White Control. So we're gonna look to try to get Mythic today. All right, we're both going. Corona Pond, play first. Sky Noodle. Uh, Mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this. Put away Alliance. Get this guy going early. That other hand was great, but also just a little bit short there. So this could be either Salt Eye Ultimatum or the Enigmatic deck. Salt Eye Ultimatum will have more removal. This may just be hold up uh, Bomac Courier line. Letting us untap would be very good. Give us one turn. Yeah, we are definitely discarding our hand here. Well, we can Omen of the Sea here. The longer they take, the, the more cards I draw. Still haven't seen the white so I'm leaning that it's likely more so salt I alt so I'm playing this so just to get another creature we'd have to discard it anyways so if they don't have the sweeper here we're drawing four cards. Oh, Sheep Black, it's nothing against me not liking the Angel deck. Um, I've just tried so many times and so many variations, and I know the deck can win. Like, a lot of people got a Mythic. It just never works for me personally. It's the Angel's faults. Um, it's like when uh, that Boros deck was really popular with Skulls and Standard. I could never win with it. There's just certain decks that people like are really good with and certain decks that people aren't. Like I've lost the Coco Angels plenty of times. So they need a sweeper here. That's fine. They could ultimate him next turn, which is a bit of a problem. Could I get an Ember Cleave? Um, Let me see how they block here. I'm probably gonna pop this, to be honest, to see if I can hit Embercleave here. Mm. I think we take them off this this turn. Because if they don't have ultimatum this turn, we should be okay. Coco Angels, I was trying to play this deck in best of one, and I just ran into a string of like three or four. And they were like, a 1-4 is the hardest thing for us to deal with. Gruel goes through waves with me. 
like I'll play it, but when it's really popular, it kind of gets boring. I'm finding Mono Red has more decision lines. Gruel to me very much feels like turn stuff sideways. Hope you win. Could be Hydrate Crisis. What else you got? Binding's a little annoying because it takes us one off here. Cause I attack in with my tutus. Frostbite's live here. Faceless doesn't do it. Little bit too short here. Just gotta hope we draw into like a removal spell. Nope. We could almost cast Cure a Best of Sea God, which is actually hilarious. They have three blockers next turn. All right, what you got, opponent? What you got? What's our out here? Chandra takes down a blocker, obviously Ember Cleave, um, Hazaret. Is decent. Annex doesn't do too much. Frostbite takes a blocker out of the way. The double Nisa. We're not winning by blocking. This could be Yori into hand, blink everything. So I need to see for Ember Cleave. Ember Cleaves are out. Actually, no, it's not because I they're gonna kill my bone crusher. Let's just see what we draw. They had a good draw. Shit. Damn it. I was hoping they didn't block. Let's hover, see if they miss block. Come on, you know you want to do it. Damn it. So what we were trying to do there is because with the Ember Cleave you can thread in the damage to come over top. Rolling Vortex, bring these in. Um, cage. 
doesn't stop here. Um, they're gonna bring in a lot more removal, so I think we want to trim there. Um, for Vince, fine. These for Ossidons could come out. They're largely unnecessary. We need a land for this hand to kind of come together. We didn't see, I imagine they're on ultimatum. They could just be on like value pile. Is this fatal push? Feels like fatal push or disfigure. Poor land. Give me a land. 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 Okay. About as good as we're going to get compared. Their ultimatum, I think, if they're on the Valky plan. Thank you. So by doing this, it signals to them that we might not have a land. This could be fatal push on the so this is actually pretty bad. If they have Fatal Push here, kill my Annex, untap into Languish. Extinction Event's also pretty bad here. Let's see what they have. Can't do much around that. I think we just go mana efficiency wise. This plays into another Extinction Event. Next turn, I could potentially do both of these. Okay, that gives me tokens. Okay, well, depending what they have, hopefully it's just like Nisa. Hey Kyle, how's it going? How's the streaming going? Feels bad. Okay. I mean, it's something. They can't ultimate him. That's fine. They have to keep Shark back. Just don't want to give him a turn here. Tad aggressive. You're into hand. So here, not great.
All right, they got one turn to kill us. That doesn't kill us. Got him. Got him. Okay. So they're on the languish plan. They did show shark. I think we're largely just doing the exact same thing. Frostbite. Maybe just one more threat. We really want to steal game one in this matchup just because they'll bring in more removal, I feel, post board. Can we stop having this frostbite in our opener, please? I think we get this going first. This also is something they more likely prioritize killing. Let's go robber here. Hopefully they needed that land. See what they come up with. Spiral into Languish will be a kind of annoying. Really want to land here. A land would be great. I want to be able to two spell next turn. Land. Land. I feel like it's a okay, they have ritual as well. Thick. Come on, twenty two lands. Probably just gonna lose this game for never hitting a land. Just keep smashing them with robbers. Hope for the best. So I'm purposely holding this out because I want them to treat it as though I don't have it. This is frustrating. Like another land speeds up our clock, We've somehow drawn more robber of riches than we have lines. Jesus. Land means we can, ah oh, shit. Well, I mean, we're tap all and online permanents. I think we need to just treat this. Crap. Go with Yorian. This game's real frustrating. Just never hitting another land. Because they blink this now. Keeps my things tapped. They get a second 8-8. Eight eight. Yeah, we're dead. Ah! That's so frustrating. Like... You're drawing the wrong half of your deck. That's two games that we've lost now just from Lions. 